Well, good morning. I hope everyone's doing well. And, well, it's 11 days till Christmas. I hope everybody's ready for it. I know I'm not. I never am. Of course, if you're Jewish, you're celebrating Hanukkah right now, which started last week. So I hope you have had a joyous season either way. Ooh, I'll take that platinum. Now, last time we defeated a watcher, and now we can go past the watcher statues and head into Ramas de Luan to search for survivors from Galadir's band, which is what we're going to do now. Here are those wicked looking statues. And they are very evil looking, but now we can pass them safely. As you can see, they still give us the evil eye, but they won't kill us. So, yay! Very important to at least do that much of that quest chain if you want to play around in Angmar. And we have a bunch of hot springs, natural hot baths, and these uh, fireworms absolutely love them. So do the deadly iron scales. And these slugs are so much fun. Note, I am being sarcastic. They're not fun. They're easy to kill, but... They're also very yucky. Like the ones in the shire, they like to slime the area and slow you down. Huh. Somebody left a wagon behind. So, over there is an orc camp. And if I don't manage to cut that out, excuse me, I didn't mean to sneeze. But, um, yeah, that's an orc camp. It's a good place to farm reputation. I think you'll get North Downs reputation there. You may also get other reputation. I have to check and see what all. But up in here is where we want to go. And in here is Gabel Sator. It is a little hidden dwarven outpost. And actually is fairly well hidden. Grab that stable. And we want to talk to this gentleman here. This is Bregare. Ah, uh, Shadow is on my spirits. Who are you? If you are not a servant in the Shadow of Angmar, how then did you pass through Ramas Rama de Lawan and not Perry? Ornir sent you. That is joyous news. Your coming is a trump of victory to us. Would you stay a moment? And it is a pity that Ornir would not steal his heart against the Watchers of Ramas de Lawan. The power of the Watching Stones is terrible. Many of the hillmen tried to flee back through Hermas de Luan and perished. We marched on, but ere we ever came unto Karndum, we were beset by orcs and creatures more terrible. Galadir was lost, and our numbers were scattered. The scarce remnant that remains has barely managed to avoid the snares of the enemy for those last few years, but I fear Angmar has grown too strong, and we will not be able to hide forever. I have learned that one party of my kindred is encamped at a place called Gasforth Near, forward to the north in the eastern reaches of Himbar. Go to them, if you would, and lend what aid you may. So we need to find the ragers of Gasforth Near. Okay, so we're going to head out that way and get to see more of Angmar in the process. There is another way out, I forgot, but... 
This is easy enough, so. At least I think there's another way out. I'm almost tempted to go back and look. But I won't. Yeah, if it weren't for all these critters, this would be a fantastic place, because like I said, natural hot springs. We'll go and take a quick look in here. You can see it is populated heavily by orcs. Let's kill one and see what they give us. Shall we? Um, did I get anything from that? Or camp, or campaign medallion. So yes, it gives you ranger of a, rangers of a Stelden rep. So if you weren't at full rep with a Stelden already, you could come in here and kill some orc, get some rep items, and get your rep up. There are also side quests there. This guy is part of a series of quests. I don't remember where they start, but there's several of these guys that you have to fight. And it culminates in an instant. Very interesting. There's another... Um, I don't know if that's a town or a fortress. I would call that one a town. But of course, again, it's Angmorum. It is full of Angmorum and other evil creatures. I think there's some orcs in there. But we're going to take the side path here. Uh, orc, orc. The followers are so much fun at level. There's kind of very loosely a path here. There it is. That's not so loose. That's a very clearly defined path. And cross this bridge. And we have entered a new area. Now, if you're looking to get me wrap items for Angmore. This is the place for it. And we just got a new deed because of course we did. We'll kill a couple whites real quick. See if uh, I'm right. Get anything? Ah, here we go. Oh no, this, yes, it is. You must have completed the quest Cranog's challenge. So I can't even use this. This is a 700 point rep item and you have to have completed the side quest that I'm avoiding in order to even use it. Well, that's too bad. Okay. But yeah, these whites will drop rep items for Angmar. Iron Crown. I remember right. I think it's... No, not up there. So these are barrows, obviously, because of the number of whites. Up around here somewhere. I'm trying to see if I can't find them. 
There's a group of dwarves, and they will have some quests. I see the path now. We got Fargas. So, yeah, you go up here. And follow this path up. You can already see the dwarven part. This is Mertworth. No stable here. But several dwarves, the number of quests, and a view of the tower. I cannot remember what that's called. Barad Ularan. Yeah. That place is bad news all around. But it's also part of a couple of deeds for Angmar. Ooh. <laughs> Just slide right down. Oh yeah, and I forgot the Morable. And of course bats, because if you have Morable, you have bats. They're basically harpies, but they're a little bit like vampires, too. Oh, yes, and big old spiders. So, once again, <laughs> if you really don't like spiders, you have arachnophobia. Like many RPG-type games, this one has its fair share of them. Angmorn Priestess. And again, there's that place. Maybe we'll go explore it at some point. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to get here, but we're taking the easy one. We're just going to ride around the edge of the pond here. Which will funnel us into this sloping path. Grab that sable over here. And up at the top of the sloping path. And we just completed the Bastions of Pope because we found Gathwork near. How can I be of service? You have come from Coronir by way of Bragier. Welcome then and well met. Indeed, we could use your aid. These last few years have seen us nearly vanquished. But it is not for me to tell you of our woes. You should enter within and speak with Lorniel, Golodir's daughter. So, I guess Golodir brought his daughter along with him? And there are a few survivors in here. Elf and dwarf and man alike. Where is Lorneal? Oh, hello, random person. I hope you're having fun. Not in here. 
They've uh, made do, if you can tell. They have uh, certainly worked hard to make do in here. Kind of made the place comfortable. As comfortable as possible. Ah, she's back here. What can I do for you? I do not believe good fortune alone brings you hither, my good high elf. Come, we have much to speak about. Would you do something for me? If you came from Breguer, I have no doubt you heard that my father was lost. He was indeed lost to us, but I do not believe he was slain. I have heard reports from our allies that he was taken captive and is being held within the dungeons of Kornduun. One such ally, a sympathetic hillman from the hostile eastern tribes named Ragnall, claims that he has acquired a scroll from the libraries of Kornduun that tells how to gain access to the city. If you would meet Ragnall and obtain the scroll from him, it would be a tremendous step towards freeing my father from the clutches of the enemy. Be wary, though. He will be waiting just south of Bel Kathernach, a hillman village which lies to the southwest of Gasforthnir. Most of the hillmen there are in service of the Iron Crown. All right. So, that is Lorneal. Goladir is not here. He is presumed to be a prisoner of the Ingmarum. He may or may not be alive. But this hillman may have a way to find out. So we're going to go find him. And yes, obviously I do know what happens next, but you know, I'm not going to tell you yet. Okay. Obviously gathering the gray company might've given you a clue, but still. Oh, and hi, everybody. Say hello to May, who has decided to join me up here on the desk. Because, of course, she has. Okay, so. Up in here somewhere. Gotta love the way the sky changes. That is evil-looking sky. I believe you could say the sky is poisoned. And for Ragnall, he is in here somewhere. Oh, he's very close. Okay. There he is, trying to hide himself in the bushes. I do not know what will become of my people. You were sent here by the woman from the south. Here, take this scroll. My people are suspicious. I must go at once. The Morrible has seen you. I must flee. And of course, they would attack. And since they would attack, I'm going to attack her. And dude has already disappeared. I like her outfit. I wish I could have that outfit cosmetically. Oh, yes. And this is a good place to, uh, Get your troll slayer done. Oh, at least I should say it's a fun place to get your troll slayer done. Okay, I'm just going to swim across here. Right, 
back on our horse. Remember which way I need to go. Oh yes, and there are spiders that uh, hide themselves from you. That's always a thing. Well, if you see that, you always know you're going the right way. There's the pond. Okay. Fortunately for Angmar, they do have that very prominent landmark. If you kind of start remembering where things are around that, it makes it a lot easier to navigate this area. You're having fun. That was a very stately looking dwarf. All right. Gorniel. What do you need? Did you find Ragnall? Ah, that must be the scroll he told of. Let me see it. Might I take a moment of your time? I fear we may have been deceived, Medriel. For this scroll is written in black speech and may say nothing of value. I cannot say, for black speech is not a tongue with which I am familiar. Even so, I would know what this says. Perhaps the elf Lairdon may have some proficiency in this writing. He is an old friend of my father's and is here in Gathforth near. Take the scroll to him and ask him his opinion. If it may help us free my father, then we must learn its secrets at once. Now, Lairdon is actually a relatively important character, too. And he ties into another NPC. But we won't talk of that because, well, if we ever do decide to do the whole quest chain... I wouldn't want to give away too many spoilers. The shadow is on my spirit. Alas, but I have never taken the time to learn the cruel mutterings of the orcs. I have no desire to speak with them by any means save my sword. If the scroll did indeed come from Kondum, Elrond half Elven may have an interest in it, and he is assuredly knows the black speech. Go to Rivendell and seek out the master of the last homely house if you would know the answer to your riddle. So now we need to go talk to Elrond. Unfortunately for us, I believe, unless it's changed, there's a stable between Gasport near and Rivendell. How can I be of service? Lobor Lobor Sharon. What a mouthful. Yep, Rivendell stables. Yay. No. We got the Gabble Sator stable, so why isn't it showing up in here? That's not it. Oh, because you have to have 
acquaintance standing with Council of the North to use them. Okay. There's also a stable to a Stelden from here, too. So yeah, I would have to get my reputation up, which means I would have to do the starter quest to be able to uh, use rep items and, of course, get rep. Alright, let's go talk to Elrond. Bet. Where can I find Bingo this week? We have information for you that may be of use. Bingo's waiting for you inside the haunted pen near Algadheim in the dower stops of Mirkwood. Oh, I need to go fetch him from uh, Mirkwood still? Okay, <laughs> I'll do that. Some people swear by Lothlorien being the prettiest of the elven places. I would give that honor to Rivendell. It has a much more natural look to it. And the architecture is quite nice. Like I said, move right in here. I don't know. Would you? Is this a place you would choose to live in a fantasy setting? I believe this statue. Uh, well, not 100% sure. But I want to say the statue is probably Elrond's wife. I could be wrong on that. This one. I don't know what that one is. Unless that's Lucian. There are so many. So many elves of legend. Hard to keep track of them all. Baron and Lucian, although technically Baron was a human. Luthien was an elf, much like Aragorn and Arwen's love story. All right. Will you lend me your aid once What more? is this? You were sent by the daughter of Goladir and by the elf Lairdon? What a strange fate has brought you hither. The shadow of Aengmar has grown with the shadow in the east. Give me the scroll. I will unravel this mystery for you. Hope is not in vain. Lorniel's hopes were not wholly in vain, for the scroll does indeed reveal a way to pass the gates of Corndoom. The scroll tells of a special key needed, forged of a dire black iron found only in the foul pits of Angmar, and the secrets of its crafting. I believe such a key could be made of mithril, for the strength of Moria's silver may overcome whatever resistance the lock may give. Unfortunately, we have not mithril to use. Perhaps you should seek the aid of Lord Dwalin at Thorns Hall in Arid Luin. The dwarves know best the secrets of Mithril. It is they you should speak with. I have transcribed the contents of the scroll in Westron. The dwarves should have no difficulty reading it. Okay, so... What else do you have in here? Um, nothing I need, okay. Elrond is sending us to Dwalin in the Misty Mountains. And, oh yes. Okay, I remember that. This is actually rather fun. So, we're going to get to help 
swallowing out. And then we're going to get to do an instant. And of course, we'll be doing that next time. Until then, bye for now.